So now we're going to start doing the tires. So this is part one of it. So you can see how it's tacoed. So I took the frame uh, pieces from the wheel assembly and I put a small axle piece here to hold them together so you can kind of see how the nacelles hook together, so the undercarriage. So this bar here, I'm going to replace it because it also bent a little bit too. And I welded together this one I got from a friend. It's uh, bigger, heavier, so that'll replace the center part that will replace this piece here going across. So you can see how the, the wheel tacoed, <laughs> that's what I call it. So it couldn't handle the weight. It bent all the underlying uh, framing on it. So I'm gonna take it apart and this will be episode one of, the, of this part of it. Give you a different angle here. So you can see how it's all distorted. It's from going over this cement lip here in the garage at an angle and it just bent the rims. So the new ones are really heavy duty. I can show you those. Sorry for the mess in the shop here, but here's the new tire. So if you get a chance to check out Girl in the Woods, she had a, a Stargazer camper she built and she used these. So they have a three quarter inch hole there for the axle. So I got a piece of, on the floor, I got a piece of three quarter inch all thread, which is back here. You can see it on the floor here. And then I got the supporting. So I got washers and nuts that all fit on the all thread. So that's what I'm planning to replace right here. So I'm gonna take off these tabs that are here and grind it away what I'm planning to do and then I have these new pieces that go with those kind of tires it's a little bracket that'll go in the bottom so if say if this was flipped over it'd go like that on the frame so you can see how it would attach but it'll be down below so I gotta take I'm gonna take these off uh, the brackets and grind them so it's back to the tubing and then I'm gonna try and install these on it with the all thread axles. And then I'm gonna do a two inch pipe here. And then I'll have another inch and a half one like this. And the two inch piece will set on top of it. So it'll raise the trailer up a little bit. You can see what it's like right now with no wheels underneath. And then the other thing I'm planning to do too to give it more stability is on the very front of the wheel assembly right here, I'm gonna attach uh, some more of the, uh, I would call it uh, anyway the hold metal like that as the holes drilled in it. So we're going to put a bracket across like that, and it'll have a removable pin. So you can. I still want the axle to be able to spread away, so that uh, when you pull the slide out, the axle comes out, and gives it a little more stability. Right now, it works. It doesn't tip over or anything like that. But you know, if you had somebody get in it, yeah, it would flip over. But uh, right now, it's balanced pretty well, so that when the slide out comes out, it has the legs that drop down and everything. So that way, you can see what I'm working on. So we have the second coat of primer now. I put, uh, as in my community page, I kind of give you uh, photographs of everything, how it works. So I painted the rock panel black. And the color scheme will be pretty close to this. I have an implement color white. That's uh, this one here. I got it at Tractor Supply. So it's a white paint. Then I'm gonna do the color scheme on here. If you've seen some of my earlier uh, videos, it'll have kind of what I was looking for for the graphics. I might modify it a little bit on my uh, like my blueprint page or the conceptual idea. Anyway, that's what I have for right now. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for following the channel and subscribe if you like it. Hit a like button, we'd appreciate it. So have a good day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.